Hershey Mint. New edition, yeah. Blue days locked in wall. On a mission now. Woo! What's up, guys? Welcome to Looters FM. I'm your host, Sav, or Civilian, whichever you prefer. Uh, Civilian's a little bit more formal, but we, um, we can keep it informal. Call me Sav. What's going on? Anyway, uh, this is Looters FM. I am here to represent myself, Civilian, and Looters Entertainment, otherwise known as uh, Looters.ent, otherwise known as, formerly known as uh, Looters Media. Anyway, I'll just briefly explain what I'm doing here. I'll keep this as short as I can, and then I'll get into uh, the news. So last year, me and my brother, Ruku, who you may know, uh, we started a um, podcast studio, failed ho- horribly. Um, we started a podcast under that banner called Looters FM, where we re- would review music uh, weekly, and you can check them out below. Uh, and it was just cool, like for us to kind of get together and, um, basically have a beer and go over the new music from the week, uh, and just kind of highlight some of the tracks that we liked. And yeah, it was, it was a fun little thing. Um, obviously when, we, when the podcast studio disbanded, uh, we had to go our separate ways. It was a bit harder for us to keep up that like, uh, weekly, uh, kind of meetup and, you know, obviously with, with COVID and stuff like that last year. Um, but I am here to tell you that it, it, I am bringing Looters FM back. Um, not so much in the same format, but because I wanted to spend this year really um, kind of interviewing people in the music industry and spending a bit more time talking to people doing cool shit in the music industry, I thought it would make sense to um, pair Luda's FM, the podcast, with Luda's Entertainment, the um, kind of music uh, artist management and um, event management kind of little side hustle that I'm trying to work at. And um, yeah, I would uh, kind of bring the podcast to life to kind of highlight the things that we're doing and the people that we're working with and the cool things that are happening in, uh, in Melbourne and, and, and the rest of Australia and specifically in regard to hip hop. So that's just a little bit of a synopsis on what I am doing here and uh, why you're listening to my voice right now. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So I hope hope you can join in on the journey. I would imagine that I'm trying to upload one of these every single week, just highlighting what's going on and, and what I'm liking. Um, and starting next week, and actually the main reason that I'm doing this is starting next week, I am beginning to interview people who are doing cool shit in in the in the field. So people who are artist managers. Um, next week I'm talking to a fucking super talented, super lovely. Um, audio engineer, um, who some of you may know, um, and just a couple of other interviews that I got lined up. People in uh, PR, people who are um, other like YouTube content creators, and I'm just I'm just wanting to talk to people doing cool shit, basically. So this is a place where you'll be able to find me, civilian, talking to people doing cool shit in the music industry. People who are. You know, the people behind the scenes, pulling the strings, doing the things. Obviously, I will be talking to artists as well. Uh, but I wanted to highlight, you know, the people behind the scenes just a little bit more because I feel like that's not as readily available in this country. I, I feel like there's um not enough of, you know, the people the people kind of coming up with the 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 plans and execution and you know how do we get this guy on that stage and how do we how do we pull off this tour in the middle of this fucking pandemic or whatever you know the, the people who are actually like conceptualizing these things and and making it happen they're the people I want to talk to because I feel like you know they don't get enough of the praise and attention that they probably deserve and I feel like there's not enough resources in the Australian music landscape that highlight these kinds of people so that's what I'm going to be doing as of next week and I can't. I can't wait because the people who I'm going to talk to are people that I genuinely like and genuinely just want to have a conversation with. Um, so everyone that I've reached out to so far are just people that I already have in my circle and my network that I actually fuck with and I like as human beings and I think they're doing cool shit. So that's going to be starting, yeah, next week. Um, the synopsis went longer than I intended it to go and that's just the way the cookie crumbles from time to time. Anyway, getting on to the news. So we announced on Wednesday. That on the 1st of April, I am bringing Talakai, Headliner, Hip Hop Artist, uh, Master Spitter, uh, Nova Castrian Ninja. He is uh, a straight up bar artist and he is coming to Melbourne for one night only to perform 
a whole bunch of his uh, a whole bunch of his tunes plus a whole bunch of unreleased stuff. He he he's working on an album at the moment, and uh, he plans to kind of perform a bunch of these unreleased, um, you know, album songs uh, probably for the first time at this show. So if you are in Melbourne, I highly recommend you come. Uh, Talakai has been around for a minute. But at the same time, he's still very young and still kind of up and coming. Um, but he's just really talented uh, kind of hip hop artist. He's just a bar expert, man. Like there's no pop shit. It's just like straight to the point, you know, just barred up. You know, he's just coming for it. Uh, dude knows how to spit. I've been playing with him for a minute. We uh, we actually used to play shows back in the day up in Newcastle, Madhouse. Shout out Madha- Madhouse. Um, and yeah, we used to fucking play these like, you know, that were they were cool shows, but like literally we we you know we could play to like five to ten people sometimes um and you know it was a cool crew, it was a really lovely crew, and it was a great like breeding ground for like just you know straight up like underground hip hop um yeah, but those those shows were a bit of a come up for us, and uh we got to know each other back there, and you know i get to I get to put on a show in Melbourne with him headlining um and I'm really excited for it so the the last show that we did in um in December at laundry. We got about 120 people, 130 people through the door across the night, um, which is, you know, way, way exceeded my expectations. So I was really happy with that. And I'm hoping to do at least that again. And I think we can. Uh, We've got a really cool lineup basically supporting him. We got um, Legend the Rapper. Uh, We got Eric Devine. We got 3030, my my fucking G. Uh, We got Ruku. And we got Elegy. And... Man, I, I can't wait. I, I I either like all these guys or I like their music or somewhere in between. Like I'm a fan at, at, to some degree of every single person that's going to be playing on this night. So some of them I've met, some of them I know really well, some of them I haven't met, some people I just know online and kind of can't wait to meet. So yeah, I'm happy to I'm happy to see. I'm excited to see what the energy's like in the room. I really want to make it a nice night, a really cool night of just straight up hip hop and you know something that people can like you know go away from thinking damn you know you know i had fun tonight i had fun tonight and i saw some great music so that's what i'm looking to do uh first of april it's called because we can um the ticket link will be below and yeah please come down please come down and support like live music you know dudes just having a go and um you know people trying to do cool shit um yeah that's pretty much it the other thing i'll probably just throw in here uh, Ruku is putting out his new single in two weeks. It's called Startup. It features 3030. It comes out the week before the Because We Can show. So I'm going to put a um, pre-save link down below for that as well. If you want to go check that out, it's fat. Um, his, his rhyming scheme and his kind of like, you know, uh, kind of character and delivery of his first verse is, is honestly one of the coolest things I've heard in, in Australian hip hop. Uh, recently, and you know, thirty thirty comes through with an absolutely fucking burner of a verse, and yeah, the whole thing is just a lot of fun. So can't wait for these guys to drop this song. Anyway, uh, my name is Sav. If you uh, have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, you know, feel free to drop them below. Otherwise, I will see you uh, probably next week. But um, yeah, go go grab a ticket. Come down, come down, check the show out. I promise you, I promise you, you will enjoy it. You will leave fascinated and wanting more Australian hip hop in your face. Uh, anyway, Ludus Media, Ludus Entertainment, uh, Ludus FM, signing out. I'm Sav and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll catch you soon. Peace. First